What's up, everybody? I'm Shinichi. I'm Satoshi. Welcome back to Tabi Eats. Today, we're going to be trying out some breakfast items from one of our favorite local convenience stores, Family Mart. So if you've been with us for a while, you know we've done a lot of 7-Eleven videos in 2018. Well, this year, we decided to try out all the food from Family Mart. So this is a start, kind of a start of a new series for us. Yes. And I hope you guys enjoy this series. Um, if you're new to our channel and you enjoy these kind of videos, we would love it if you subscribe. Now, everything we got today was breakfast items. Uh, we chose five items each and this includes our drink. My theme is Japanese style. Yes. And his theme is Western. Western style. Yes, I guess Western, yeah. <laughs> um, that's what you call it in Japan, in Japanese or Western. And that is because I personally prefer a Western style breakfast. I like it both. So I chose Japanese style breakfast. When you come to Japan and you want to eat Japanese breakfast mm -hmm. and you want to eat from convenience store, my choice is very helpful for you. Mm, I think so too, yeah. Right. Okay. Let's get started. Let's get started. All right, go ahead. So first thing is drink. Mm. I always drink coffee in the morning. This is not Japanese. Please forgive me. I need coffee in the morning. Mm -hmm. This is espresso latte 138 yen. It is a Family Mart original brand. Right. And they do have um, tea lattes as well. But instead of getting something similar, I decided to get something called a fruit tea mix. This is 248 yen, it's approximately 2 US dollars. And this is quite interesting. Um, first of all, you can only get this at Family Mart stores. This includes strawberry, orange, and lemon Ooh. with real lemon slices and real uh, fruit pulp. And this is blended with a tea. Cheers. Kanpai. Kind of strange to say kanpai in the morning. <laughs> in the morning. Huh? It's like we're drinking alcohol. Itadakimasu. Or something. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, oh, I surprised. The coffee taste is spot on. Oh, really? Of course, they have the regular coffee. You can buy hot coffee at the, the register, at the cashier. But this is also good. Well, you know what? Well, my drink, let me tell you guys, this is amazing. This is pretty amazing. Really? Yeah, and I've, I've always seen this at the store, but you know, it's 248 yen. It's kind of pricey for a drink, and so I never picked it up, but oh, this is good. This is worth give me, 248 yen. I love the real fruit pulp inside and it's just so good. I like mm. that they blended it with tea. Mm. And that kind of wakes you up in the morning. Mm. Isn't it good? Mm. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> my first meal, my my choice is soup. It is made with barduk, the lotus root, and ground chicken balls. And it's, this is the Japanese style soup. Mm, yes. In, in Japan, um, you always have soup for breakfast, you know, mm -hmm. for like a Japanese mm -hmm. breakfast, like Regularly, miso soup. We eat miso soup. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. But okay, and, and my my second choice is uh, Famima Bakery's French Toast Sandwich with Ham and Cheese. It's 135 yen, approximately a dollar ten cents. And um, this includes ham, uh, sprinkling of parsley on the top, there's cheese and white sauce in the center. White sauce, I'm not really sure what that is. I'm gonna warm this up in the oven, I think. Mm -hmm. In the microwave oven. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, it's piping hot. Nice, nicely cheesy appearance. <laughs> nicely cheesy appearance, <laughs> yes. I guess that means the cheese has melted. Uh, itadakimasu. Do you taste the cheese? Yes, for sure. I taste the cheese. Mm. How's I mean, the bread? The bread is nice. The French, it's like French toast. It is French toast. And um, it's not a sweet French toast, it's actually kind of savory. And the bread is nice and fluffy. It's cheesy, but this white sauce is very prominent. I'm not exactly sure what this white sauce is. It's a little bit sweet white sauce. It's like bechamel sauce, but a little bit sweet. And the ham does give it a little flavor. There's not too much ham, there's just a very thin slice of ham in here. There's more cheese in ham, but mostly I taste the bechamel sauce. But that's not a bad thing. It's a bad sauce. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's not bad at all. Mm -hmm. In my soup, the, the ingredients I said it's burdock, lotus root, and minced fish, uh, minced chicken balls. But not not only that, there are carrot, shiitake mushroom, bami cherry, and green onions. Mm. That soup looks mm. awesome. So gentle Japanese flavor soup. So I will eat ground chicken ball. 
Is it good? Mmm. Yeah? Mmm. Mm. Can, can I try? I just want to try a little bit of the, uh, the tsukune. Mmm. Oh, that texture. Mm. I love the texture. I think there's like lotus roots or something inside the ground chicken balls because there's that texture, that crispy texture. And the soup is perfect to mm, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, it's a little bit sweet. Mm -hmm. I, I think there's some meaning in there. There's some sake. Very delicious. 7-Eleven yeah. is like the nearest convenience store to us, so we're always going to 7-Eleven. We hardly go to Family Mart for breakfast. Um, so this is kind of exciting. So this is red grapefruit. They also had a regular uh, uh, non-red grapefruit. And they had peach and they also have pineapple. But I decided to get the red grapefruit. This is called Vita. And this is a uh, fresh grapefruit in light syrup. Mm. And I like that, um, you know, they, they've um, scooped out all the flesh. Oh. So you only get the grapefruit flesh in here, which is mm. really nice and convenient. Mmm. It tastes refreshing too. That syrup is so incredibly light. Can I? Yeah, it's, it? it's almost like just water. It's so light, it's not thick at all. Oh, that's right. right it's, like, mm. it's like, you know, slightly mm. sweet water. Mm. I imagine the, the syrup in the can. Mm. Yeah, but, <coughs> it's not it's like not. that. My main meal is this. It's the, it looks like omusubi, onigiri, but it's similar. It's from Okinawa. It's rice sandwich. It's, it's interesting shape. It's, it's folded. Not molded, it's mm -hmm. folded. Mm -hmm. And inside there are a luncheon meat, ham or luncheon meat, and the egg omelette. Mm -hmm. mm. So I, we saw in Okinawa this. Yes, we did. Mm. Yeah. So this is called pork and tamago tsuna mayo. Oh, 213 yen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it, it's approximately two dollars. I think that's pretty nice size mm. for mm. you know two US dollars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like this kind of nice bowl or a rice mm -hmm. sandwich because there are so much feeling inside. Mm. Mm. That looks so good. Mm. It looks so good. Mm. When you bit into it, it's like looking at it from the side, mm. I see the layer of egg and that, that ham and the rice and the nori. I can smell it as well. It reminds me of Okinawa morning. We <laughs> ate this in Okinawa. We did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we did a convenience store review mm -hmm. from yeah. Okinawa. Mm -hmm. If you guys missed that video, go check it out. Actually, we have a whole playlist of Okinawa videos. Mm -hmm. And this Lunch on meat, mm. my ham has a nice, nice meat flavor, and it has, I don't know, what shall I say, a little bit sweetness. Mm. Maybe the sweetness comes from the, the egg on it? No? It comes from the ham. The ah, ham yeah. is sweet. It's mm. like, like the ham is simmered in some kind of sweet sauce, or the ham itself is sweet. I don't know, but mm. the ham is definitely sweet. Mm. I love rice sandwiches or onigiri. I don't know what it is, the combination of rice and nori seaweed is like so good to me. We have recipe of this rice sandwich. We sure do. <laughs> All right, so next on the menu for me is a Family Mart sausage egg muffin. So this reminds me of those egg McMuffins that you find at McDonald's. And this is something that you definitely have to heat up in the microwave. Mmm, mmm, interesting. Um, that ham is sort of like a Canadian bacon, and there's an egg salad in here, as well as thinly sliced ham. Here, why don't you give a bite? Why don't you take a bite? Mmm. Mmm. It's pretty good. Mm. It's pretty mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. But it's very straightforward for me. It's like, you get the ham, you get the egg salad, you get the, the Canadian bacon, you get the muffin, you get the mayo, the, the pepper. It's just straightforward. That's what you get. And it's a good thing, but it doesn't wow me. That's right. It's straightforward. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I think this could be improved if there was a slice of cheese in it. And I also got Saba no Shiyoaki. It's a, a grilled macaro salt flavor. Mm. If I can eat some grilled fish from the convenience store, isn't it interesting? In Japan, and to eat the grilled fish in, in the breakfast is very common. Yes, so it is. I'm very glad to see this grilled fish from a convenience store. That's true, that's true. This is very easily um, eaten um, at, in your hotel room, for example. Mm -hmm. If you have a microwave oven, mm -hmm. or your Airbnb, which usually does have a microwave oven, yeah, I guess. It's just a microwave. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah, you, you can't even have for dinner if you have rice and this. I mean, that's that's dinner for you right there. 
The flesh is pretty soft. Mm. Is it good? Mm. You know, I mm. love grilled fish, so mm. obviously mm. I'm gonna have a bite of that. I'm gonna take this piece right here. Sometimes grilled fish is dry, mm. but this is not. No. It's moist. It's juicy. Juicy. Mm. It's really juicy. Really nice. Mm. Mm. It has a perfect amount of fat and Oh, the flesh is juicy, guys. This is so good. Ah, yeah. um, it's not fishy at all whatsoever. You know, I don't like fishy fish. I don't mm. like fish with a fishy taste, you know what I mean? It usually means it's not fresh, but this is fresh saba from the convenience store. I think that is amazing. And the one more thing, no bone. No bone? Oh my god, there's no bones. <laughs> no bone. That's right, no, no bone. bone. No bone. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> All right, guys, the last thing I got was yogurt. Yogurt is something I like to eat in the morning as well. Satoshi doesn't eat as much yogurt as I, I do. For example, when I um, offer him some yogurt at night, he's like, no, 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 it's not morning. I, I think he has like um, yogurt eating rules. <laughs> but for me, I can eat yogurt any time of the day. Um, this is a Japanese brand called Luna, and this is vanilla yogurt. Um, they've been making yogurt since 1993. And um, I like this because it comes in a small container, so it's not a big serving. That's perfect. That is perfect. I love this vanilla flavor. Mmm. Mm. Try it. Try it. It's morning. You can have yogurt. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, mm, right? Super vanilla y. <laughs> super vanilla y. The texture is so, so creamy. <laughs> yes, it's creamy. The texture, it kind of reminds it of like pudding, you know, Japanese mm, pudding yeah, in yeah, a way. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. okay. Mm. And I bought the similar texture kind of mm. thing. <laughs> but it's Japanese. It's tofu. <laughs> oboro dofu. Oh. It's koku no oboro dofu using Hokkaido soybeans. It attached with this small packet of salt. Oh, the, the, the color of the salt is a little different. Yes, it's, it's called the mo, Moshio. It's made with seaweed. Really? How interesting. Mm. Wow. I think, okay, can I just try the salt by itself? I want to see if it tastes like seaweed. I think it's milder. It does. Mm -hmm. It tastes a little bit like seaweed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I have a lot of umami in here. Yes. So I can imagine that would make tofu taste mm -hmm. really good. So the texture is like yogurt, similar stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you tell I need a bite of that as well? How is it? This texture is much more creamy but thick. Creamy but thick. Okay. Creamy than, but than the yogurt. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. oh. Mm. See, oh. Please imagine the thick soy milk. Oh, that is amazing. Mm. Oh, that is amazing! What? The salt matches very well. First of all, the soybean flavor mm. is there. You can definitely taste the soybean. The texture is incredible. It's like silky, smooth, thick richness. I can't even describe how beautiful the texture is. And um, like, I love eating tofu with salt. I really do. Like, I, I can't even imagine eating this with mm. soy sauce. Mm. If you if you eat tofu with salt, you can enjoy the original flavor of tofu. Mm, that's true. That's true. All right, guys. So we have come to the end of our breakfast meal from Family Mart. It's time to choose our favorites. Mm. It's time to choose the favorites. Yeah. I choose. Mmm. I have two. <laughs> two? Sure. Two. Sure. One is my soup. Okay. The Japanese style soup. Mm -hmm. It has so many flavors inside. Mm -hmm. I love this dashi flavor, mm -hmm. the chicken dashi stock flavor. But other one is your tea. My tea. Tea. The tea is amazing. Okay. <laughs> wow. That's incredible because I my two favorites are the exact same things. <laughs> your soup, this soup, oh my god, I'm gonna buy it again for sure. And this fruit tea, you know, they also have another flavor. I'm gonna try the other flavor. <laughs> later on tonight for dinner. This is so good. Mm. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, please let us know what were your favorites in the comments down below. We hope you enjoy this new series from Family Mart that we're starting today. If that sounds good to you, let us know in the comments down as well. If you've missed any of our previous 7-Eleven convenience store videos, check it out by clicking on our playlist over there. 
Thank you for watching. See you on next delicious convenience food video. Bye.